Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, couple things. Mm-hmm. One, last week when he gave the assignment, he didn't mention a date. No, he didn't. But he, he but... didn't mention a show. So there were um, a lot of them. Yeah. So I watched the one that came immediately to mind because I I love Umaga matches and I tolerate Jeff Hardy matches, and I watched the match they had from Extreme Rules. Oh, which was yeah. which was false count mm, anywhere. Yeah. That's not a bad alternative to the assignment. No. So yes. I was gonna say I hope he's serious because Umaga matches like Umaga fucks. Like he is yes. like, I love mm-hmm. Umaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a big highlight. So so first of all, uh, uh Ziggy, did you watch the, the like the, the raw one that I sent I you? I did. Right? I watched the correct one. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so so let, let's talk about the one that was intended. And yeah. and, yes. and and we can talk a, a, at I large mean, like, about I will about say, feud in large too. I so didn't yes. watch it like I didn't get to sit down and watch it in detail, but no, I no. did get the gist of it. Yes. And I do have thoughts on it. Okay, so so this was this was uh, him and Jeff Hardy on Raw. Um, this was uh, it, and 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 Ramona Estrada was missing, and I actually did go back because if you go to the list, you see it starts with Estrada versus John Cena, mm-hmm. and yeah. to, that was set up the the week before, and and he got basically taken out from Cena, and that's why Umaga is. Uh, 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 well, yeah, because if it's in December. They're already setting up for that Umaga Cena Rumble Extreme title match, right? Right, right, right. Probably, probably. Yeah. So, and in the meantime, I, he was probably at some point with his his thing with um uh with uh, uh Jeff Hardy, right? So, um or you know, uh, so 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 it was a complete Umaga just steamrolling Jeff, making things making like, and Jeff's good at taking punishment. Um, I mean, hey, he feuded with the Dudleys, right? So, yeah. so Maka is just, you know, more of the same. Um, but, uh, but, uh, like, I, I would say Bubba Ray is like an honorary Samoan in that, in that case. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, well, maybe it's Bubba Ray that blocked you on impact, Mike. That could be. That, that would that make be. so much sense. I think he was really sure. involved with stuff over there. Maybe I'm that thinking of Ring of Honor, but anyways. Anyway. Um, but no, it, it was, uh, you know, you can tell this is in the middle of this, this like, Hey, here's what Umaga can do without his person. You know, it's kind of like, his you know, handler. yeah, his without handler. his handler, it, it's like what happens when, uh, uh, Kamala uh, is unchained kind of thing. Which, I mean, he was a protocol. What happens basically. when Samoans stop being polite and start getting real <laughs> violent. <laughs> yeah. 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 Also, yeah. I, this, this is a, this is a thing. I, I don't know if this would play today. Is having I know they allude to it with like like uh, 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 Paul Heyman promos, but I don't think you could have like this tribal savage Samoan thing. Yeah, today. Might... Yeah, um, I think it depends on how it's done. Yes, mm-hmm. um, because they they did a little bit something like that on NXT with um, Malcolm Bivens bringing in Rinku and Sarov. Yeah, but they weren't like they're were like they're like okay. There was like homage tribal kind of look to yeah, you. Yeah, like it, it wasn't overt like Kamala. Right. Yeah. Like, I like, mean, even like AOP was kind of like. I think Umaga would be okay. I did mercenaries when they started. I, but, but, but Umaga was like monster, not talking the same language. Like, um, I would say, like especially the way they play it here, I I, I think accents that like you know doesn't understand that he lost the match kind of yeah. idea. But I think that just showed like more in that came across to me as like his brutality. Okay. And just okay. like like he doesn't care. Yeah. It, it's more like, that than he it, doesn't understand. Th- like I think the way it came across to me was like since he didn't have like his handler there, mm-hmm. he didn't have anyone to tell him when to stop. Or was he more yeah. vicious or more angry because of what happened to him? True, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And is it just yeah, like because a sp- like uh, John Cena took out his boy, so yes. he's get, he's naturally going to be more angry. So. Yeah, and they were having an on on thing up. By the way, the main event became Johnny Nitro versus John Cena. By the way, of course it did. That, yes, yeah. I believe he had uh, Molina at the time. So Eminem was Chef's kiss. I love Eminem. Him. Eminem was great. Eminem so good. Mm-hmm. Oh. And and you think how young. He was, you know, that's before he like got amazing with Lucha Underground and Impact and now back, right? Uh, and got acting. Well, even even like Eminem, you forget their first 
feud was against Eddie and Ray. Mm. Yeah. Like, Insane. right away. Just throw them in there. I'm like, geez. With, like, the best in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He- if, you, if you're not going to learn something from Eddie and Ray, there's probably no hope for you. Literally. Right? So. right? <laughs> well, jo- well, Joey Mercury was an ECW guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, Joey Matthews and Christian York. Like, the, he was he was in ECW before it got bought. So, like, you know, there the tendencies were already there. So he was probably, like, a 10-year vet, at least by the time he got to this point with Johnny. Yeah. Johnny was the newer guy, because I think he... Well, yeah, was, tough enough. He was a tough enough guy, but I don't think he wasn't a straight in, not trained tough enough guy. Like it was, I can't remember. I, they were bringing in the indie people at least, right? Oh, they they had they had people that had some training. I mean, um, right, Ry- right. Ryback was in there. Boogeyman was in there. Like there were people who had had some training. But yeah. you know, a lot like I, I remember listening to an interview with the Miz. Like when he got to tough enough, he had to forget a lot of what he had been trained. Yeah, that like, makes sense. Especially yeah. the way that like the WWE dynamic is, I mm-hmm. it's very different from how most people have been trained. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, but but back to the match. Like, I it, man, Umaga was a bright. I I think we we were. Oh, I think we were we were talking up Umaga at this point. We're talking about the end of two thousand six, right? Mm-hmm. So we yeah. we were in our twelfth month of this show. Uh, so, and I think Umaga was like the best thing to happen, uh, at that point. Yeah, Umaga, it, and it's not even just the Umaga gimmick, mm-hmm. uh, because when they came back, when Jamal came back at three minute warning, yes, oh, 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 so good, so so good, like just every, everything he did, he did well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like he did very, very well. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Umaga, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, but man, it was uh, it, 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 it was tough. it was a good run. Great stuff that happened. Great moments. Some that have not held up the test of time, unfortunately, from WrestleMania, mm-hmm. uh, because some involved. Mm-hmm. But uh, we won't talk about that. Through, through no fault of his own. No fault of his own. But hey, man. You, you're like they threw Bobby Lashley and Umaga in the highest profile match of that year, mm-hmm. and yeah, they still, took it like chance. They they were yeah. great, and 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 that was like that was the first make of Bobby Lashley was them mm-hmm. them going at it. Yeah, you know? yeah. It, it's tough being in a WrestleMania main event when you're the fourth and fifth guy talked about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very difficult. Yeah, but you're the you're the ones that need to but you're the ones that need to put the work in, right? Oh yeah. You have to work your ass off if you're the ones that everyone's like, ew. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um oh Eli Drake was also on tough enough. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Same one as Bookie Man. Good call out there. Oh yeah. If you if you like go to the Wikipedia of Tough Enough and just click through those rosters, there are a lot of people who tried out for tough enough. So many people were on tough enough. Something. 